hello guys welcome back to my channel RT Parivar so guys today we will learn in this video how to disable control panel command prompt and registry or many more uh, windows application with the help of group policy so this is my domain controller server and uh, I will show you today how you can disable the uh, registry command prompt and control panel for your uh, organization or for your you can say company users so let me show you this is my domain controller and i have a client pc which ip is here you can see 10.10.20 and for now on this pc you can see here command prompt is running and let us check by open registry regret it you can see registry is also opening here on the client pc and control panel you can see control panel is also opening so you can see here the host name is pc1 and let me go to the my domain controller so this is my domain controller server and you can see the computer name is gc and domain is itparivar.lan let me show you by creating the group policy so here uh, the group policy object let me create one new group policy you need to follow the same step to create new policy so here i am going to uh, enter the group policy name like disable windows application or app whatever uh, as per your requirement you can keep the group policy name so here I am going to he, uh, keep disable windows application windows app now uh, let me go to disable windows policy so just you need to double click on that you can navigate here just right click go to the edit option and as you have to uh, disable the computer uh, sorry control panel command prompt registry and other applications so there are two ways here in the group policy like one is computer configuration another one is user configuration so as we have to uh, disable the control panel registry for the users so we can go to the user configuration and to disable the uh, control panel or registry or command prompt you need to go to the administrative tool administrative template and go to the system here just click on the standard and you can see here the prevent access to the command prompt you can just enable this enable disable the command prompt script script processing also so if you want to like uh, disable the scripting also like you can uh, like as you know uh, if any script will be executed it will uh, execute via uh, command prompt it will use the command command from cmd so uh, if you want to it should be like open for the uh, script execution so you can just select this no otherwise if you if you don't want to execute any script so you can select the yes but for now i am going to select no and in this in this case if you select no you can execute the or user can execute the uh, bash file or a script you can say but not he will not be able to open the command prompt just go to the okay, apply and okay prevent access to registry editing tools you can see here you can just enable it enable 
disable regulate from the running silently yes apply okay here you can see there uh, the option is don't run a specified windows application so if you double click on this and go to the enable option and go to the so you can mention here the notepad or uh, reg edit dot exe so whatever application you want uh, to disable you can uh, mention here like if you want to disable the game help menu media player so you need to in enter here the exe name for now i'm going to cancel this and uh, now we have to uh, prevent the control panel for the users so you can you need to go to the just here control panel option provisioned access control panel and pc settings double click on this go to the enable option apply and okay just close this if you want you can select this and go to the uh, go to the settings you can see what policy you have configured so you can see here the uh, policy with whatever we have uh, enabled you can see here like control panel always access control panel enable prevent access registry enabled and prevent access to the command prompt is enabled now how you can enable the uh, or implement this policy for the uh, your domain users so here i have created one sales user ou let me go to the uh, active directory users and computers so you can open it by uh, running the command dsa.msc or you can go to the server manager tools and you can open active directory users users computers from here also so you can see here the sales uh, user ou is i have created here and uh, there is a one user sky so i in in my case i want to disable the control panel cmd command prompt and registry for this user that is in sales users in same way like suppose if you have the uh, users like sales user or any other user and you have moved that user to the uh, that uh, ou so you need to just right click on this sales user ou and link the existing gpu or uh, i want to uh, brief here something more like you can directly create the gpu uh, by right click on the uh, ou on which ou you want to uh, apply the gpu so from here you can also apply like just create and if you apply uh, if you will apply from here or if if you create the group policy from here you can like the ou will be uh, the gpu will be linked to this ou directly no need to uh, link it uh, by right click so for now as i have created the group policy object here the uh, group policy object ou or container you can say but the best way is to create the group policy here first and then go go for the link so here right click link an existing gpu and as we have created the disable windows application app group policy to disable the control panel cmd registry just click okay you can see here now it's linked here means this policy is linked for the sales users ou and if you go to the sales user uh, you can see if you yes if you open the active directory users and computers and in my case i am going here on the sales user and in the sales user ou there is a one user uh, sky so for now i 
implemented the group policy for this user for the sales user SKY I am going to the CMD and here you can run the GP update space plus source and wait for the successfully update yes go to the client machine so this is the client machine and you can see here the user is SKY so this machine is logged in uh, with the uh, uh, SKY user you can see you can check this from here also you can see here the user is SKY and I am not going to run the uh, GP update first again I want to show you like opening the registry so to open the registry you can see like we need to type here regedit sorry regedit you can see it's opening because policy is not applied here and let us run the GP update to update the applied policy and then we'll check if policy is applied or not yes so you can see here the computer policy update has completed successfully user policy update has completed completed successfully now we'll try to open the reg edit and uh, yes uh, we have also uh, uh, prevent for the cmd you can see registry editing has been disabled by your administrator yes so registry is blocked now let us close it as and try to open the CMD also you can see as after running the GP update you can see here it is like showing the command pro prompt has been disabled by your administrator press any key to continue once you will press any key it will be automatically closed now try to open the control panel as we have blocked the control panel also yes the operation has been cancelled due to restriction in effect on this computer please contact to your system administrator so guys in this way you can block the command from registry uh, control panel uh, via gpu for your organization users computers so i hope uh, this video will be helpful for you and now it is clear to you like how you can implement the group policy how you can link to the uh, required OU as we have uh, created the group policy in the group policy object after configuration we will link the uh, that policy for the sales user OU uh, and as we have verified now it's blocked so guys i hope this video will be helpful for you and this video will, video will be informative so i will request you to please subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos that will be like uh, that will be helpful for me as well and please don't forget to uh, like and share with your friends if you have any query you can leave your comment in comment section for now Thank you. Bye-bye.